in our busy lives, finding time to pause is not really a luxury. It is an absolute necessity. We're going to explore today on day 45, how resting our mind, our body, and our spirit can actually rejuvenate our entire being and help us flow harmoniously with the universe. If you're not sure who I am, my name is Dr. Lisa Brewer, and I am a doctor of metaphysics and divinity, so I cannot write you a prescription, but I can recommend a good crystal. (laughs) So we're going to start with rejuvenating our mind. In stillness, we can find clarity. You know, things like meditation and deep breathing allow us to disconnect from all of the digital distractions like our phone and social media and and video, all of these things that um, can take us away from actually being able to just be with ourselves and within ourselves. It allows our thoughts to settle in and for creativity to truly blossom. It allows us to remain in flow. Now, when we turn to the body, right, gentle yoga, taking some walks, sometimes just getting enough sleep can honestly repair so, so much. It it will strengthen our physical health. It'll make us much more resilient to stress. Again, it will allow us to flow this whole whole purpose right of what we're doing over these 40 some odd days 88 days in total is so that we can bring into the physical realm all that we can imagine and that we know to create in the spiritual realm and if our body is not capable of handling that then it's all for naught so Get your body prepared. Get ready to just really explode on the scene with this brand new life. And now we're going to move on to spiritual rejuvenation, which is like really the thing that I absolutely love, right? When we connect with nature, when we go for walks in the park, when we just go maybe sit down in the grass, even if we walk barefoot in the grass and and just allow the sun to beam down on us, When we sit next to bodies of water, we engage in personal reflection. Like every, nothing is, is, is coming in. Nothing is, you know, we're not talking to anyone. Again, we're not looking at our phones. We're not choosing to record everything, but we are actually experiencing all. And when we can do that and, and, and really reflect on life and then begin to just practice gratitude, right? Just Take a moment to be grateful for everything. Take a moment to really be grateful for yourself. You know, give yourself that pat on the back. Tell yourself in the mirror, I love you. Congratulate yourself in the mirror for all of the things that you've accomplished and for all that you will accomplish in the future, for all of your successes as if it's just right here because it is actually right here already. When we do those things, we elevate our our vibration and we deepen our connection with the universe. Listen, remember that the journey to balance and rejuvenation is ongoing. I want you to take the time to nurture your mind, nurture your body, nurture your spirit. Embrace the peace that comes from being fully aligned with yourself and with the universe. Take time to rest.